spring is here with the beautiful energy of new beginnings. This energy allows us to bring new life in every single area of our life. This video is a mini workshop for you to do massive spring cleaning in your life, in every single area of your life, so that you can welcome incredible abundance in every single area of your life. Excited? Welcome. If you are new here, I am Blanca Vergara. For more than 20 years, I've been helping women to unclog the flow of love and personal power. And today is a wonderful time to talk about how you can unclog the flow in your own life. We are going to use today a very old idea that comes from the Buddhist. It's called the wheel of life. The wheel of life allows us to pay attention to different areas of our life so that we can focus, not get distracted by the immensity of everything that is your life. This version has eight parts of your life, and we are going to discuss it one by one so that you can do a spring cleaning in each one of them. The first element of your life that we're going to talk about is your finances. Here, you can analyze what kind of expenses you are really happy to let go of. Think about all those memberships that you have, that you haven't touched for a while, you have been paying, and it's just like money being burned every single month that you are paying that. Very good idea to stop that. Think about your finances of are you going out too often? Are you taking coffee away, uh, away from home? Are you, how are you spending money that shouldn't be spent? Clean all those ways of destroying your money. Think about of what new, beautiful financial plans you can put in your life. Maybe it's a time to improve your investments. Maybe it's a time to buy gold. Maybe it's a time to start saving. This is your highest of finance. Review it. See it as a room in your life. Is it possible that you don't even talk about it, that you don't even open the envelopes? Open those envelopes. You don't know anything about finance. Start studying. Just learn. Start buying books. Clean your house finance. The second element that we're going to be talking about is your career. And if you see, they are different things because yes, indeed, your career, your job is giving you money, but how you spend the money is very different than your career. And what you do in your career is very different than the money. You can be working as a lawyer in a firm but maybe you don't like that kind of law that you are practicing right now. And you want to practice this other kind of law. Is that possible? That you need to make a switch within your same career? It's a time now in the spring to reflect. What are those things that you can be changing? Could be minor changes that you change from this project to that project. In, instead of having this specific target market, if you are an entrepreneur, you can modify the target market a little bit. The age of the mark of the of the uh, of your avatar or the problem that you are approaching. How you can approach a career that you are more authentic. What are strengths that you have? What are desires and likes that you have that are not fully expressed in your career. Think about it. Think about the things that really you don't really quite care about or you are not really quite talented at. Can you outsource them? Can you let go of them? Your life is meant to be lived 
based on your talents, because that is the way you are most charitable to the world. Preview it. Preview your career based on your talents and your likes and your personal mission. And now spring is an excellent time to do it. The next house that we are going to look into is your health. This is a great time for fasting. You know, so many religions use fasting these days in spring because, of course, we ate so much in winter. It's time to clean our body. And even if you are not religious, you can, you know, research, talk to your doctor and do a cleanse. Drink more water and less alcohol. Smoke less. Exercise more. You don't need to be a genius to improve your health. You have to just pay attention. What is what you have been denying on the subject of health? I can tell you for me was alcohol. I tell you was because last year I did a challenge for myself and just myself of not drinking alcohol for three months. It was absolutely fantastic because after not drinking alcohol at all for three months, at all, I was not interested that much in it. That's fantastic. Now I'm not completely sober. I have a glass of wine or a beer every so often, but you know, every so often. Do a cleanse of whatever you know that is necessary. What is going to be less processed food, less bread, less sodas. You know what you need. If the cleanse is to go to the sauna or to exercise, that's also cleansing your body. Of using uh, clothes that are more uh, um, used with fabrics that are natural and less synthetic. Look at the areas of your health that you can improve. You know what you can improve. Use your intuition. Don't you don't need to be a wise doctor that you can talk to them, but use your intuition. Be guided by your inner sense. Next house, your relationships. What is going on? Are you going out enough with your husband? I can tell you I wasn't, but I pay attention to my own spring cleaning. This, this one I can tell you that I did last year. My husband and I were not going out as often as we wanted to. And I put my foot down and we started going from a date, another date and another date. And our relationship has improved. It is so beautiful because you see, in this relationship, we're together, oh my God, 17 years now. Uh, how can you improve something like that? You, boredom can crop in so quickly because you know the person so well. Well, what can you do? Can I, because you cannot say, oh, husband, you need to do this. Can I be more present when I'm having coffee with him? Can I be more compassionate when he starts? Can I? What is that element of that is in your control that can help you to improve your relationship? What is that that you can let go of that you have been doing and uh, is working against it, against your relationship, and you know it? Just, you know, see it. In this question of my relationship, how can I clean it? How can I make it more beautiful? Is it more play? Is it more silence? Is it more going out? Is it dancing? Just feel. Pay attention. As you pay attention, you can set an intention. And that relationship, no matter how old is your relationship, will improve. Of course, I'm talking to you because in, in my perspective of having a relationship, but you can do exactly the same if you don't have an intimate partner. You can think, 
which kind of partner will I like? I really would like the person who loves to exercise, a person who's spiritual, a person who's kind, a person who's hard worker, a person who did that. The fastest way for you to get the partner that is the dream partner is for you to become that person. So start exercising, start making jokes, start doing the things that you wished that person had. And you immediately will become a magnet for the person that you are wanting. Mm. And funny enough, let me tell you what. If you are in a relationship, you can do exactly the same. If you are wanting your husband to do X, Y, Z, well, start doing it yourself. The next house is the house of social life. The house of friends, the house of uh, networking. We need a social life. Particularly in the past years, we have grown so lonely as humanity. Let's use this energy of spring to change that. Schedule it in your calendar, more space to have conversations, more space to go to networking events, more space to make phone calls when there's a birthday of whatever person. Create more space for different people in your life. Because you see, as you have these conversations that are meaningful, that are profound, you will grow as a person and you will be able to contribute in a better way. Create a space for them. And for that, you need to do your spring cleaning of the things that really don't contribute. I can tell you what doesn't contribute to social life to be scrolling in your mobile phone. It just doesn't contribute. <laughs> it doesn't contribute also to be with people who are complaining, who are gossiping, you know, Bless them and start going out more often with people who are dreaming, daring, playing, laughing. Choose your friends. You can transform your surroundings very easily. You can say no, you know, you can't. <laughs> You can then say no to appointments and you can choose the appointments that you go to. You don't have to continue with the same friends. Remember what Jim Rohn said, you are the average of the five people you hang out the most often with. So be mindful of that. Who do you want to be with? I want to be with happy people. I want to be with positive people. I want to be with compassionate, spiritual people, flexible uh, uh, you know, make a list of that wonderful group of people that you would like to be in, behave like that, and you will attract them. Mm. You see, it's exactly the same advice that I gave you for the husband. It's the same advice that I give you for the friends. And, you know, this is nothing else but being mirrors. As you behave as the people that you would like to have around, the people that you will have around will be magnetized by that beautiful being that you're becoming. Next house, personal growth. What do you think is going to be my advice? Exactly the very same. You know perfectly what is that that you are not daring to be. You perfectly know what is that area of personal development that you are dreading to touch? Well, touch that. I'm a coach for more than 20 years. And my personal development goal is to listen even deeper to my people to listen even deeper, to be more present, to be more mindful, not to be thinking about what's the next question I need to ask, not to be thinking about the next person that I will see or the 
person that I saw before, but to be present, to take, let go of my mind, but engage all my body to be there. And that, I tell you, that is something that I have been doing for years. I want to be better at that. What is for you? Is it public speaking that you are already a very good storyteller? Well, maybe you want to connect better with your audience. Maybe you want to dare to uh, speak in uh, YouTube. Maybe personal development is indeed very personal. What is what is calling you? Just notice, journal, and notice what are the things that make you either very angry, or I wish this was better in the world, or very happy. This is so beautiful. There must be more of this in the world. When you see these two things, either anger or delight, is that life is asking you to become that. As you journal, you will be able to notice what is that that I need to let go in my own inner being and what is that that I need to expand. Next house, the house of family. How are you doing with that? Do you have a mom and dad? I don't have them anymore. I cannot hang out with them, but I have my sister, but I have my brothers-in-law, but I have my children. So as a, my point for improvement in personal growth is to listen, I'm applying that for all my family. I love to listen to my children, particularly because they are teenagers. I have teenagers 11 and 13. They are just morphing. <laughs> <laughs> in different people the, you know my son is starting to have a mustache he's starting to become a man in such a slow motion every single day they are changing when you think that the people who you are interacting with your family are will never be who they are today this will help you to be in the present moment. Be present for how your aunt is telling that story that maybe she told you 20 times. But it's a unique way she's telling the story now. Be present. Don't take it for granted. That family part is so beautiful and it's so expansive. As you connect with this power of family, you will also connect with your ancestors. As I connect with my sister, every week we talk for a long hour because we live in different countries. And we talk about, you know, all our dear departed, how the grandma did this, how the aunt did that. And we connect to those family values on how we could express that in our life. Seeing family and thinking about all the members of your family. Who are you forgetting? Are you paying too much attention to this and are you forgetting that? Just observe your beautiful life room of your family and start decorating it in different ways. Start thinking how I'm going to make this even beautiful. One of the things that we have implemented already for a couple of years is the dates with our children. I go for dinner with my son and we have long conversations just him. I go and have a day out with my daughter, just we, the same, my husband with the children. If you have these different possibilities to have experiences and conversations with your family members, imagine the bond that you are creating. Imagine the memories that you are creating. The possibility of trust and camaraderie for the future. You can do it. You have all the energy now in spring. And finally, spirituality. Are you giving yourself time enough to connect with divine? 
it doesn't matter which religion you are. And even if you have not connected with God like that, are you taking time to be grateful? <sighs> Take some time out of entertainment and put it in a spirituality. Take some time to observe the mountains and the miracle of the sunset. Take some time and observe the miracle of the flowers, the miracle of all those birds that are going to be born out of all those eggs now in spring. Look how the flowers start opening. Observe how spirit is manifesting in nature constantly. See how miracles are happening in your life constantly. In my uh, journal, I have my daily annotations of the miracles. Today have happened so many miracles. It's really like compounding. The more you notice the miracles that happen in your life, the more miracles you will find. If you want to take this review that you have done and make it a habit, to make them a habit, you need to transform the way you define who you are. You need to transform who you think you are, your identity. And to be able to do that, I have you covered. I have a video in which I tell you how to shift your identity so that habits can become automatic. I link it here and I wish you an absolutely fabulous spring. God bless.